uh, we did our collectible quest. And the collectible quest, uh, here we go, I'm going to give you some numbers. Once we started the quest, we knew that we were looking for 184 pieces. We had to collect 184 pieces before the uh, session expired, before it, it actually switched on over. And by the time that we were done dealing with all of the gremlins and griefers, uh, uh, technical, technologically speaking, we had about uh, 10 hours, 11 hours to get this done. So off we went. And in doing so, uh, the collection that we were looking for is, for example, when, when the entire uh, ordeal was done, we wound up fighting something like close to 20 wolves, maybe. Maybe it was even close to two dozen. But it was somewhere between 15 and, and uh, two dozen wolves that we had to contend with. Luckily, we didn't have to deal with uh, any players. We rode by a few players, but we didn't have to deal with them in such a manner that it was a hostile activity. Uh, in addition to that, we did get jumped one time by bandits. Um, and you know those guys, the, the Skinners, the Daltons, whoever they were that was out there. They were, they were trying to get all my collectibles from me. Well, it didn't work. Uh, I was able to pop off a couple of them, and then I just rode right through. And I said, if you want my collectibles, come get me. And I just kept beating feet right on down the road. So uh, by the time that, the, uh, that everything was done, uh, we wound up collecting uh, seven complete sets uh, out of 184 pieces that we collected, we gathered seven complete sets. Those sets were as follows. One Squire Journey. That was the weekly collectibles that we do where we pick up three different uh, pieces and then we're able to sell it. And when we, sell it, when we sold it, when I sold it, uh, I was able to pick up $65 for that and 1,000 XP. In addition to that, I was able to turn in and sell three uh, flower sets. And those three flower sets were worth $155.60 each, giving me a total of $466.50 right there. In addition to that, uh, it was 1,500 XP for each set, and that gave me 4,500 XP for those three sets. Moving on, what we collected was one antique alcohol set, and that alcohol hall set sold for $160.50 and gave me another 1,500 XP. Moving on, we sold a one cup tarot card set, and that set paid $240.50 and gave me another 1,500 XP. The next thing that we sold for a set was the family heirloom set. And that, uh, that collector set sold for $292.50 and gave me another 1,500 XP. So what we looked at right there is total cash earned from collector sets was $1,225 even. And the total of seven sets gave me 10,000 XP uh, just in those collector sets. Now, once I moved on and I sold all of the different miscellaneous uh, pieces and parts of different uh, collector sets that we have there, uh, the individual collector pieces themselves, $3,851.25. So when you couple that with the uh, collector sets that I sold, which was a total of uh, 1225 the overall amount that I was able to collect in cash was $5,076.25. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. And uh, remember that there were 17 possible sets that we could collect. And uh, the, those 17 sets that we could collect, uh, they're just all over. They're all kinds of different things. What I did find, and I found that it was interesting, was that uh, 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 what I found that was interesting was that I was able to level up doing this one and one quarter times. Uh, right from, I wrote down the XP when I started, I leveled up and then I continued on collecting XP and I was able to uh, collect a one and a quarter times or approximately 5,000 XP beyond one complete level up and that one complete level up I had to earn uh, 45,500 XP uh, right close to that. Now along the way I wound up uh, having to use uh, four different horses, one of them I used twice over and uh, special horse medications that I used, I used four of them. And I used five different stimulants uh, on these horses. And I used three horse meal. 
I had some good horses. I had some bad horses. I think the best horse that I had uh, d during the whole journey was the Norfolk Roadster. Uh, that sucker, I'm telling you, he was a great, great horse. Probably the best one that I used of the, the four others that I, that I used uh, along the way. Now, one time I fell off a cliff uh, trying to get down from uh, one of the mountain tops up there in snow country and actually died from that. And another time I was in Van Horn collecting and I kind of bumped into this guy and he took offense to it and we started, you know, whacking on each other and there was some other townspeople there that got involved and before you know it, you know, they, they just put me down, they put me away and I had to respawn and get back into the game and, and start collecting. Well, as we moved on, uh, we found that, uh, uh, that towards the end I was beginning to run out of time. And it was getting down there and down there. And what happened was, is I knew that I had one particular uh, egg that I had to go get. And it was all the way on one end of the map. And then I happened to look at the map and, oh my God almighty, I couldn't believe it. I missed, I absolutely missed a collectible that was up way down in the willy wax uh, to the extreme right of Ansberg. And I thought to myself, oh my God, I'm not going to make it. I'm just not going to make it. And I just fired up that horse and I started running as hard as I could. Because remember here, I had said that I wanted to do this uh, quest without using any fast travel and without using any wilderness camp. So off I go from one of the islands down in Blackwater, and I'm headed up to Ansberg, and I'm beating feet up there, and I'm watching this clock on the computer tick down, and I'm getting closer and closer to the end of this thing, and I still have collectibles to go. So I finally get up to Ansberg, and I get on down through, and I'm looking for this collectible, and I finally find it. I had to bail off my horse and run like mad to get it, going over boulders, uh, going into the water, uh, running around like, a, like an absolute fool, searching in panic uh, for this collectible. And so I find it. I find the collectible. I pick it up. One collectible left. One collectible left. And there's only something like eight or nine minutes left for me to complete uh, this mission. So, I had to do this in one reset, mind you now. In one reset, I had to do this. And I'd already lost uh, several hours because of the gremlins that, that got to us early on. So, uh, off we go. Uh, I'm headed back from Ansberg. I need to get back down to La Grasse. There's one egg left in a tree. I had tried to get that egg earlier. I shot at it, shot at it, and shot at it. It wouldn't come down. I, I would take, and uh, I knew that I had busted the nest, but the egg didn't drop. So I left it, and I continued on, and I started working other collectibles. So now I'm up in Ansberg, and I finally have this one last egg to go. We know that we've got a problem with that one egg based upon a glitch that apparently is available or is in the game with Rockstar. I ultimately get out of that area. I get back down into La Grasse. Uh, there's something like uh, six or seven minutes left on the clock. I run over to this tree. I take up my, my, uh, my varmint rifle. I aim at the nest. I clearly see that I shoot the nest and the nest, the egg doesn't drop. What am I going to do? We're absolutely panicking at this point. I take and wind up jumping servers I jump servers, I come back onto the nest, and um, I start shooting the nest again, and I hit the nest, the, the egg doesn't fall. People are telling me to go ahead and, and shoot the dynamite arrow at it uh, with a, uh, excuse me, shoot an arrow at it with a small game arrow. I shot that small game arrow at it. Nothing happened. The egg wouldn't fall. Uh, everybody's saying, try to do this, try to do that. Well, we tried everything, even to the point where we tried some dynamite on it. We got the dynamite, we whacked that tree, and even with the dynamite you would have thought you would have thought that the dynamite would have broken that egg and at least I would have known that the egg was uh, was gettable okay so the dynamite bang that tree blew all to hell the fire went up you know the smoke went up and there's the egg still sitting up in the tree with no nest so uh, there we have it we're uh, four minutes to the end and we just declared the fact that we won this we were able to beat it even though the egg didn't come down because the egg had uh, glitched out uh, it was a it was a glitch that rockstar has a lot of people have recognized this glitch uh, over the last several months i've had it occur to me in the past i've been able to get it in the past so it's a glitch that either rolls in or it rolls out in this case it rolled in it stayed with us forever 
Uh, we declared it a win because we had done everything we could possibly do to get that egg, and not only at that particular moment, but an hour earlier, and we just couldn't get it. So it's a glitch on Rockstar Place, and uh, we ultimately uh, declared ourselves a winner because of that glitch with four, four minutes left in the reset. That's how close it was. And uh, let me tell you something. Uh, I wound up spending uh, in a, just over 14 hours sitting in this chair, uh, uh, getting everything taken care of in advance that I needed to, uh, cleaning out the satchel, dealing with all of the gremlins, sitting down and playing this game to collect the map. I wound up taking, I think it was four, four breaks during that period of time. And I don't think uh, most of them were five minutes about. I think one of them might have been eight or ten minutes. So, uh, total, uh, when I'm all said and done, as, as I say, I wound up uh, putting in my pocket over $5,000, and I wound up uh, putting in my pocket, as far as XP goes, over 50,000 XP is what it became. If you're collecting jewelry, no matter what it is, you've got it made. Uh, that is the one that paid the most as far as XP goes. Now, one thing I can tell you is, is don't expect to be able to go out and collect that entire map and get all of the different sets that there are available. You can't do it because there are different uh, collectibles that are in rotation. Just like they rotate uh, the location of these collectibles, uh, they also rotate the collectibles themselves. So there are some things that you can't even collect. You would have to, if you wanted to collect every single piece that there was, you'd probably have to do a complete collection uh, two days in a row. And let me tell you what, uh, that, that one day absolutely kicked my butt. I could hardly stand and walk, and uh, I hit the bed at about 9 o'clock that night. I never woke up until 6 o'clock the next morning. Uh, it, was, it was really grueling, and yesterday I felt it all day long. I actually felt worse yesterday than I did the day or the evening that I finished. You know how that goes. We're just talking here about cowboy stuff.